In this video, we're going to show the identity management adapter for ISAM from the console perspective. So it's a continuation video. From the previous one, we log in as the identity management administrator. So here's the console view. And we can actually look for manage users to look for Mr. Bond. So we're going to select here last name bond we have the user here and we select here on the twisty and we can see the accounts that mr bond has and if we refresh that view we're going to see that he has two accounts the identity management which we are using right now the gui and the access management we created in the previous video so we can actually do all the things that we can normally do with an account. So we can suspend, for example, the account. So if we click suspend here immediately and we go to the previous view, we refresh that screen and we're going to see that the user is suspended. He cannot use that access management account until we eliminate the suspension or reactivate him. So if we go in, in there, uh, let's see all the options that we have. Well, here's the description that we that we have by default distinguished name. Here are the options of whether we want the, to change the password as he first login, whether we have single sign-on, the num maximum number of uh, failing logon before we log the account, the groups that he belongs. And notice that in here we have two groups, identity services and management. So we can actually click and add him into any other group. And this is, you know, particular of the the way that you have access management installed. For example, we can add him to the transportation services group. And uh, here he is. So uh, we can actually specify single sign-on resources for the GSO uh, box. And if we submit that change right now, and we are going to be seeing that uh, he now belongs to another group. So standard view of the I, uh, adapter.